Hey, hey everyone. Um, every time I film a YouTube or makeup tutorial, whatever you want to call it, I always talk in English, so I thought today I should probably talk in Tagalog just to mix things up a little bit. I do know how to speak Tagalog for those of you who are not aware. Um, it's going to be a little difficult to just speak in Tagalog, but we'll see. Um, I am very fluent though. It's just that when I'm in front of the camera, English is my like automatic um, choice of language. So we'll see how this goes. So yeah, I'm just going to clip my hair back and we'll get started. Gusto ko kasi talaga pahabain yung buhok ko. Um, nandun na siya sa length na nakakainis. Yung hindi ko matali, pero kasi masyado pa siya maikli. Pero pag nakalugay siya, nandito na siya sa balikat ko and nasa bato ko. So medyo nakakainis na siya. Pero, yun, tinitiis ko. Hopefully, matiis ko siya at humaba siya ng like yung hair ko before, which is like up to hanggang dito sa... Um, but like past shoulders, so hopefully it'll grow out soon. Um, to save time, siguro if you hindi ko if you film yung foundation routine ko, um, ang dami kong breakout sa chin. Um, it's really like an, a hormonal thing, so yeah, I have so many breakouts. Siguro, um, I, I won't film that part. I uh, lalagay ko na lang sa description box below ko ano yung mga ginamit ko products. So when I come back, may foundation na ako and meron na ako kilay kasi right now kalbo yung kilay ko. <laughs> That's what I was born with. So we have to do something about that. So I'll be back um, with my foundation and kilay. I know hindi ko magawa ng sobrang Tagalog lahat, pero yun, hopefully yung ibang steps ko, magawa ko ng, ng um, makapagsalita ako ng Tagalog. So, I'll be right back. Okay. So, um, ginawa ko na yung foundation eyebrows ko. Um, I did a little bit of I know Tagalog. Okay. Um, hindi ko kasi alam ko anong Tagalog nito. Baking. Ano bang Tagalog ng baking? Hindi ko alam. Pero yun, um, baking para lang I mean, kasi I got too messy with my bronzer. Masyadong mababa. So, nag naglagay ako ng powder para um, linisin yun a little bit or konti. And then, um, hindi ko alam ko nung sorry, ang ingay. Yeah, katapat ko yung main road. Kaya maingay talaga dito sa kwarto na to. Um, kung pinapanood niyo yung previous videos ko, in explain ko yun. But anyway, um, I'm gonna use, or gagamitin ko yung um, Jaclyn Hill, Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette ko. I love this palette. Sobrang gustong gusto ko to kasi I feel like lahat ng kulay na kailangan mo um, for a neutral or a bold look, nandito na siyang lahat. Medyo madumi yung sakan kasi gamit na, gamit na gamit ko na siya. So, um, Ang ayoko lang dito sa palette na to is wala siyang pangalan na nakalagay dito. Yung pangalan ng mga shades nasa um, separate na papel. So, lalagay ko na lang sa description box yung mga colors na gagamitin ko. Okay, so I'm gonna take a Morphe MB23. This is what that um, looks like. It's my favorite. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko na blending brush. Um, and uh, kuha tayo ng transition color. So, siguro, well, build up ko na lang kapag gusto ko pa. Pero, dito muna tayo. So, ito yung shade na gagamitin ko as my transition. Meron akong mirror dito. So, in case nagtataka ka bakit doon ako nakatingin, um, dahil nandun yung mirror ko. So, I'm gonna grab this color with my brush. And... Nalagay ko siya dito sa crease ko. This is gonna act like... Um, this is gonna be our transition shade. Hindi ko pa talaga alam kung anong gagawin ko. Bahala na ko anong labasan ito. So, I'm just gonna do this. Build it up. Do the same on the other eye. 
So, kung gusto mo ng mas intense, um, you hold the brush closer to the bristle part. Pero, kung gusto mo ng mas diffused, you hold the brush sa end. And then, you blow it out. So, small, circular, circular, circular motions. Yeah. So, that's our transition. Um, isip pa ako kung ano pang gusto kong gawin. Maybe, let's do a halo eye. Kasi, yung tagal na akong hindi nag- hindi nag-halo eye eh. We shall see. Hindi ko talaga kaya yung full Tagalog. Pasensya na. Taglish na lang. Yeah. So, um, when you reach the intensity that you want, you can stop there and move on to the next shade, which, isipin ko pa kung ano, kasi, like I said, hindi ko alam kung anong look yung ginagawa ko ngayon. At dahil tamad ako maglinis ng brush. So, itong brush na to, ginamit ko siya last week. Um, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday last week. Malinis siya nun. Pero, dahil may iba siyang shade na nakalagay. And, ayokong mamix siya dun sa ibang shades na gagamitin ko. I have this sponge thing. Alam niyo yung color switch na binibenta na sobrang mahal? This is like 10 pesos lang sa palengke. And all you do is rub the brush in like so para mawala yung previous shade na ginamit mo. Ayan. So, malinis na siya. Siyempre, mas maganda pa rin na, mag, na i-wash mo siya with soap or brush cleaner talaga. Pero, this is the quicker alternative ko. Tinatamad kang mag-wash ng brush. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna take this shade right here. Um, so, it's kind of like an orangey shade. I guess I'm going for an orangey look. Um, tapping the brush off para matanggal yung excess product. And, nalagay ko siya dito sa outer corner. Pati sa inner corner mamaya. Kasi nga, halo ay yung gusto natin gawin. So, more product. And, tapping that sa inner corner. Ngayon, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung eyes ko sobrang sensitive. Like, I have really sensitive eyes and whenever I fuss with the inner corner too much, it waters. So, hindi ako masyado magpo-focus dun muna. Um, dito muna tayo sa outer corner. Pero nag na ako ng color dito para lang makita ko yung, like, makuha yung feel of the look that I am going for. And then, tap the brush. Yun yung narinig yung tapping. Um, at ibe-blend ko lang siya konti. Yung mga edges. Para hindi masyadong harsh. And we'll do the same on the other eye. So, ang ginagawa ko muna ay tinatap ko siya. Hindi ko siya bine-blend. Tap lang. Para lang ma-deposit yung color, yung color na gusto natin. Ganun din sa inner corner. Which I'm trying to avoid... I'm trying to avoid putting too much pressure because I'm sure it's gonna get super watery later. Yeah. Okay, so something like that. So I'm gonna go back with the first shade that we used um, and then just blend out the edges. Because I don't know, me harsh lines like dito, parang harsh siya. so. Just blending on top. Same on the other eye. 
tahimik ko na naman. I know I should be talking to you guys, but I just can't do the makeup and chatting part yet. Um, but I am practicing on doing that. So, what should we do next? Hmm. So, um, I'm going to take this pencil brush. I'm not quite sure what brush this is because I bought it SM super matagal na, So, I don't know. I forgot what it is. But just a normal pencil brush. Um, and then, I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, it's kind of like a really cool tone brown shade. So, um, I'm going to take that with a small brush because I don't want a lot. And I'm just going to deepen the outer and inner corner of our eyes. So, taking some of that, tapping off the excess. And with a very light hand, just tapping it on the outer corner and inner corner. Gusto ko lang magkaroon ng um, more depth yung outer and inner corner para mas makuha natin yung effect ng halo eye. This way, if I, since I'm using a small brush, I have more control over the amount of product that I'm laying down. And then, I'll just blend it towards the middle of my eye just not on the actual middle just half halfway and just to bring a little depth and so I'm taking the blending brush or yeah I guess you can call that it's more it's um what do you call this it's a domed brush more densely packed but it's also good for blending so I'm taking that and then just blending this outer and inner corner just a little bit to mesh the two um, shades together. See, my eyes are getting watery already. <laughs> I can't stop it. Nangyayari lang talaga yun. This, itong mata na to, laging mas maganda yung kinakalabasan kaysa dito sa kabila. Kasi, I have more control on this side. Pero ito, not so much. Ayoko nung blending talaga dito sa kabila ko. Sa left eye ko. Lagi siyang hindi maganda. Pero, you work with what you got. So, I'm just, I just added like a little more of that deep um, cool tone brown shade and just blending that in okay so this eye is really not cooperating with me but we have to move on we have to move on um, so I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette still and use this shade right here um, for the center of my eye but I will spray it although these itong mga shadows naman na to sobrang ganda um, technically hindi mo naman siya talaga kailangan i-spray actually you know what talagay ko siya nang hindi ko siya ini-spray para lang makita natin yung effect no mismo shadow lang so just on a flat brush tapping this in. Diba? I mean, ang ganda pa rin niya. But, when you spray it, it just, it's a whole, brings it to a whole nother level of intensity. I wish my camera was much better to pick up how beautiful this is, but, unfortunately, I'm working with what I got. Sobrang ganda nitong shade na to. Pasin. I love this gold shade so much. So just working that on the center of my lids. And then, papatungan ko siya ulit. 
Pero magsispray na ako. I mean, I'm gonna wet the brush. So this is with a wet brush. Just right in the center. Shucks, ang ganda niya talaga. I'm so sad. Kasi hindi pinipick up nung camera kung gano'n kaganda tong shade na to. Pero ang ganda niya talaga. I love this gold shade so much! Okay, so I'm just gonna blend um, around the ends. No additional product on my brush. Just blend around the edges. Para mas seamless yung transition niya. Maybe I will put more product on my brush. Yeah. Nawala konting yung intensity ng outer corner. So, I'm gonna intensify that. Just a tad bit. This is the orange shade. So, padding with a very light hand. And on the inner corner as well. Something like that. Again, my camera is not picking this up like I want it to. But you get the idea. And then I'm going to go back to the flat brush that we used. And just wiggle. Wiggle that a little on the edges. And then the fluffy brush, I just drop the brush, the fluffy brush, and blend the top. Okay, so I'm taking that dark brown on the pencil brush again, and just smudging that on my lower lash line, just like halfway. I don't like going all the way into the inner corner because... It just makes my eyes look heavy, so I just keep it halfway. Okay, so we're pretty much um, done with the eyes. This is what they look like. The lighting keeps on changing on me. Um, hopefully, you can see that. Um, so I'm going to finish off the face, um, and I will be right back with the finished look. So I'm going to try something with um, the lips, like, uh, like I said, I did my liner which isn't really even but will work with it, um, and lashes, um, put mascara on, tight line my upper waterline with black and my lower waterline with nude. So I'm going to try this lip combo out, I'm not sure how it's going to be. But the shade that I'm using here is the Maybelline in Craving Coral. Um, and then I am going to top it off with Makeup Forever. Um, what shade is this? Artist Rogue. So it's like a... Um, it's like a cool tone, pinkish, mauve color. So we'll see how that goes. So let's start off with the red lip. This is like a orangey red, actually. That's really red. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I haven't topped it off with that mauve shade. Let me just brush this off. Um. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. 
So I'm topping it off with the mauve shade. That's not really doing much. It's just toning the shade down a little. My lips are like so chapped. Can you see that? Ew. Hmm. So that's the finished look. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the orangey red shade on my lips. I think it matches well with the eyes. Um, yeah, I like it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's more based on my eye look. I didn't do much on the face on camera just to save time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. My hair is like, like I said, it's in that length that I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, it's living its own life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to like and subscribe um, and comment down below what you think. Oh, I said I was going to speak Tagalog, but I didn't speak Tagalog Tagalog again. Sorry, I forgot. So, if you like this look, na to, make sure you, you give it a like or a thumbs up if you like Tagalog. Nun. And um, comment below if you like this look or any comments that you have. Make sure to subscribe. So yeah, ano pa ba? Yun lang naman. Tagal ko na wala mga dalawang buwan din pero um hopefully makapag-film pa ako more in the following week or during the next weekend. So we'll see. Um yeah, hope you guys like it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.